Together, we will lead our party back to the White House, and we will lead our country back to safety, prosperity, and peace. Our convention occurs at a moment of crisis for our nation. The attacks on our police and the terrorism of our cities threaten our very way of life. I have a message for all of you. The crime and violence that today afflicts our nation will soon, and I mean very soon, come to an end. My plan will begin with safety at home, which means safe neighborhoods, secure borders, and protection from terrorism. There can be no prosperity without law and order. I have visited the laid-off factory workers and the communities crushed by our horrible and unfair trade deals. These are the forgotten men and women of our country, and they are forgotten, but they're not going to be forgotten long. These are people who work hard but no longer have a voice. I am your voice. I have joined the political arena so that the powerful can no longer beat up on people who cannot defend themselves. Nobody knows the system better than me. Which is why I alone can fix it. Anyone who endorses violence, hatred, or oppression is not welcome in our country and never, ever will be. We are going to build a great border wall to stop illegal immigration, to stop the gangs and the violence, and to stop the drugs from pouring into our communities. I have made billions of dollars in business-making deals. Now I'm going to make our country rich again. <laughs> to all Americans tonight, in all of our cities and in all of our towns, I make this promise. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. God bless you and good night. I love you. Thank you. Our founders embraced the enduring truth that we are stronger together. We have to decide whether we will all work together so we can all rise together. We have the most dynamic and diverse people in the world. We have the most tolerant and generous young people we've ever had. We have the most powerful military, the most innovative entrepreneurs, the most enduring values, freedom and equality, justice and opportunity. We should be so proud that those words are associated with us. I have to tell you, as your Secretary of State, I went to 112 countries. When people hear those words, they hear America. America needs every one of us to lend our energy, our talents, our ambition to making our nation better and stronger. I believe that with all my heart. That's why Stronger Together is not just a lesson from our history. It's not just a slogan for our campaign. 
It's a guiding principle for the country we've always been and the future we're going to build. A country where the economy works for everyone, not just those at the top. I will be a president for Democrats, Republicans, independents, for the struggling, the striving, the successful, for all those who vote for me and for those who don't. For all Americans together. Tonight, we've reached a milestone in our nation's march toward a more perfect union. The first time that a major party has nominated a woman for president. Standing here as my mother's daughter and my daughter's mother, I'm so happy this day has come. I'm happy for grandmothers and little girls and everyone in between. I'm happy for boys and men because when any barrier falls in America, it clears the way for everyone. After all, when there are no ceilings, the sky's the limit. Every generation of Americans has come together to make our country freer, fairer, and stronger. None of us ever have or can do it alone. Let's be stronger together, my fellow Americans. Let's look to the future with courage and confidence. Let's build a better tomorrow for our beloved children and our beloved country. And when we do, America will be greater than ever. Thank you, and may God bless you and the United States.